Brad Holmes did it again. Signed another free agent, pretty big name, to this football team. It's been a good offseason. Let's go. If you like Detroit Lions content, subscribe to the channel. We're at 66,000, very close to 66,100, less than 30 away. If you're watching this and now subscribe, subscribe. You get all your Lions content here. We got some news that I woke up to this morning because I fell asleep early last night, folks. I was exhausted, and I wake up to some good news. The Detroit Lions signed former Ravens Pro Bowl guard Kevin Zeitler to sign a one-year deal with the Detroit Lions. Per source, Zeitler is flying to Detroit tonight to take a physical and plan to sign Tuesday, that is today, with our beloved Detroit Lions. Yes, the Lions signed a guard to replace Jonah Jackson, and they decided to go with a big name here, and that is Mr. Kevin Zeitler. Kevin Zeitler, free agent guard from the Baltimore Ravens, and he was a pro bowler last year, and he is very, very good. At least for his age at 34 for sure. Kevin Zeitler, 6'4", 315 pounds out of Wisconsin, his college, and he was drafted in the first round in 2012. Lions want to have a continuity and a strong offensive line. Kevin Zeitler is going to give you both of that. He plays all the time. He never misses time throughout his tenure. Barely ever. He is Mr. Consistent. Matter of fact, he's so consistent, folks. When his son was being born, when his wife was in labor, he decided to practice in the delivery room on how to guard. <laughs> he was doing practice while his wife was in the at the hospital doing his reps. That is exactly a Dan Campbell type of player. The guy who is practicing while wife is in labor. There's something you don't need to worry about with Zeitler. Is he's going to come to play? He's got that Frank Ragnow mentality. I'm going to play no matter what. So I want you to grade the Kevin Zeitler signing A, B, C, D, or F in the comments below. Me, A. A, A, A. I didn't expect it, but hey, I love it. Brad Holmes, he is a fun, fun type of cat to deal with. So what does the Detroit Lions offensive line look like after Zeitler signing? Well, holy smokes, folks. You got Taylor Decker, left tackle. Yes, Graham Glasgow could be moving to left guard because Zeitler has played at the right guard position in his career. Frank Ragnow center. Kevin Zeitler, right guard. Panay Sewell, right tackle. Man, oh man, that is a hell of a group. And why do I say that Graham, again, moving to uh, left guard? I think this is what's going to happen here. Because Zeitler, 34, playing exclusively at the right guard position. So we can move Graham Glasgow to left guard. Frank Ragnow at center. I think that's how the offensive line is going to get moved around. And fully expect our players to actually play in games. Jonah Jackson missed time. As a Detroit line, you're not going to see that with Zeitler. Graham Glasgow is a guy who always plays. Taylor Decker, if he can play, will play. We know Frank Ragnow is a tank. He may miss some time, and that's that's Graham Glasgow can play center, and I think that's a good good thing there for you. We have Pedesu, who never takes time off. So this offensive line is going to have continuity this year. But remember, folks, this is only a one-year deal, and he is 34 years old. So what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't make this to be an offensive line that's going to stay like this for years. It's not going to be like that. Zeitler did a one-year deal, and the Lions needed to to replace Jonah Jackson. And look, I thought they would get a guard, and I assume they're still going to get a guard because it's only, he's, it's only a one-year deal, and he's 34. But they want to win right now, and the rookie players do have hiccups. Guess what? Zeitler's not going to have hiccups, okay? He's going to come in. He's immediately set this offensive line for the Detroit Lions to be a good, good, really good offensive line. 
And why do you say this? Well, I'm going to give you his PFF grades right here. Kevin Zeitler played in 982 snaps. Okay, last year. A lot. Penalties, he only had four. Tied for 28th. Great news. You're not going to see some a lot of penalties in this guy. Sacks allowed. Only two, 45th in the NFL. Pass grade, 82.5, second in the National Football League on passing. Overall grade of 69.3. He's highly graded per PFF. Now, PFF is just one numbers, or at one set of numbers, right? You don't want to hang everything on PFF because that's not going to tell you the whole story at all. But I tell you what. It's going to tell you a good story. And what it tells you is this guy plays and he is physical and he is good at his job. Jared Goff is going to be protected and he's not bad in run as well. He's really good. That's why I went to the Pro Bowl last year. He is a damn good player. So again, grade the signing of Kevin Zeitler, 8, B, C, D, or F. I'm giving it A, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments below. Zeitler makes this offensive line stout. And an investment on this offensive line is going to prove to be amazing. Now, I think the offensive line can get better. We were, I think we we're ranked one or two. We're, we'll be ranked one again. Uh, Zeitler, I think, is an upgrade for one season over Jonah Jackson. Jonah Jackson is obviously an upgrade for the longer haul because he's much younger. But for this year, he's actually an upgrade. And again, we talked about this. The Lions have four Players on this offensive line are the first-round picks. Taylor Decker, Panay Sewell, Kevin Zeitler, and Frank Ragnow. All first-round picks. Grant Glasgow's only not. That's it. That is a scary plethora of talent on this offensive line. And I personally don't believe they'll be done with it. I don't believe they'll be done. I think they're going to continue to to make that move. And what was the history of Mr. Zeitler? Cincinnati Bengals in 2012, that's where he got drafted in round one. Went to the Cleveland Browns in 2017, to the New York Giants in 2019, and the Baltimore Ravens in 2021, where he became a free agent this year. So he's been around the block, but it's not for lack of talent or anything like that or, or his leadership skills or something. It's just he's a good player. And he likes his money. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all like our money. We all want good players. Brad Holmes just did it again. He has filled all the needs for this football team. We came in the need with corner, edge, defensive tackle, guard. The Lions signed edge, Mark and Davenport. Amik Robinson, corner, traded for Carlton Davis, signed DJ Reader. And the last two signings are the best, by far. DJ Reader, and Kevin Zeitler, the big uglies. Now, I know a lot of people are upset with Brad Holmes' free agency. I've seen it. Day one, people people are very upset, saying that Brad Holmes is a bum in free agency. He doesn't do anything. These are dollar general players. Wah, wah, wah. DJ Reader's sack count is not high. Wah, wah, wah. It's a good offseason. What a hell of an offseason. And you resign Shane Zilstra, Graham Glasgow, Jalen Reeves Maben, Emmanuel Mosley on a cheap deal, Michael Badgley, who is our kicker, Dan Skipper, we all love him, Khalil Dorsey, Scott Daly, and Donovan Peoples Jones. Good free agency by Brad Holmes. There's still some questions left. Make no mistake about it, right? Will the Detroit Lions bring back some players? Will the Lions sign more players? Right? We bring, are we going to bring back Josh Reynolds? There's some questions still out there. But this is the first time in my time being a Lions fan. And so I've been a fan for about 32 years. That's why I started watching when I was about six. Okay, so I didn't really know anything. But I was still a fan. For me, really understanding how the NFL works, this is the first time that I've seen all needs addressed. Folks, the Lions are going into this draft with no real needs. That is outstanding work by Mr. Brad Holmes. Can you imagine that going into a draft 
without any needs, that's something we don't hear about. So will the Lions draft a guard in the first three rounds? Why for yes and and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now again, I still think that the Detroit Lions are going to get a guard. I still think that the Detroit Lions are going to get a corner, edge, and DT. Lions can sit at pick 29 and just whoever is there, sit back and get it. What if they want to be aggressive? They can be aggressive now and trade up and get a Jared Verse. They can. The Detroit Lions can do that. They can sit back and they can draft a guard too to replace Zeitler after this year. So you're getting a premium player, doesn't necessarily have to be in a first round, who can sit back and develop behind Kevin Zeitler, behind Grand Glasgow, and you have your you have a young future guard after this year. Br- brilliant move by Brad Holmes in this free agency. Brilliant. This roster is stacked, and it's going to get even more stacked with the NFL draft where you put your eggs in the basket. Lions can do anything. Brad Holmes can make any move he wants to make, and I have no idea what they're going to do. Brad Holmes continues to amaze me positively. I don't know what they're going to do, and I love it. For content, it stinks. You guys want to know exactly what they're going to do. I want to know what they're going to do. Don't know, but that means that other teams don't know what the Detroit Lions are going to do. You know, Michael Mike Green, Green said that uh, it, the Lions' time has passed. Continue to be a Jets fan, buddy. Lions, Lions time has not passed. But maybe your IQ of the game may have passed. I don't know. Just thinking right there. Folks, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest Lions news and rumors. With that said, folks, adios.